Welcome. <laughs> I'm trying to fit myself. Okay. Welcome you, Saggies. Okay. I can't do your reading like this. Hold on. Because I am having problems with charging. And I don't want to do half of the reading and leave half of the reading. So we are going to get this through you, Saggies. Okay. So I want to say welcome, um, you Sages. It's going to be a wonderful. I'm going backwards and backwards. <laughs> not good. Okay. So I'm gonna try it like this. Okay, you Sages. Um, welcome. Um, it is going to be a wonderful, wonderful month for you guys in the love area, whatever the situation is, whatever that is playing out definitely there is going to be some wonderful positive love energies coming up it's going to be a time where you decide to um, change certain aspect and certain things in relationships for you guys this is what i'm receiving this is the message that i'm receiving so let's try and do this because i really want to get all the readings out i think this is much better I hope it doesn't fall. Okay. So, Sagis, let's see what's happening. Um, remember to cross watch, cross watch, because with cross watch, you're going to be receiving all the day energies. So, what's coming up for Sagis in the first week? Beautiful Sagis, you're up again. This is wonderful. Um, you're definitely, um, you beautiful Sagis uh, are meeting people, but. Um, these people that you're meeting, they're kind of control freaks, so you have to be careful. Um, in the first week, you could be um, in relationships or um, meeting someone who is, but they're, they're sort of kind of controlling, so be aware of this. So some of you are in long distance relationship and it's kind of constrained for you, so be aware. But um, this person is a true love that is um, here for you, okay? It's going to be short-term lived, so um, be aware of that. Whatever relationship of true love that is coming in, it's gonna be short-term lived, but it's, it's as if you need to receive this love to heal yourself. And you're going to be um, dating this person, but it's not going to be long-lasting, so um you know this person have kids and that is the reason why um they are more focused on their kids okay so um it could be you ladies that this is transpiring and happening with so um be aware of this fourth week you men come out for the men the businessmen you're looking for a stable relationship and some fun times okay and there is a lot of gossip a lot of gossip is going on so it's all about communication for you guys a lot of text messages a lot of telephone calls and that sort of a thing is the energy of your love energy you Sagittarians love energy in the month of May it's, it's, it's more text messages it's more communicating um, with people around you so be aware of uh, these situations so what I'm saying is that there's a you 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 beautiful women be careful because a lot of gossip is around you and I think the gossip is that and why is this gossip um, here is because a lot of people are jealous of jealous of you okay so you know be aligned with the energies and understand that you know if you are someone who is beautiful um, you meet a lot of people and that sort of a thing there will be gossip that is coming up some of you beautiful women are going to be receiving a message from um, that people are gossiping about you okay and some of you um, you have a child and uh, there's a lot of gossiping going on a lot of gossiping a lot of gossiping they're saying that you're leaving your kids and going out and having fun and it's you know you're putting more in yourself than in your kids so 
that's the sort of energy that is coming in but it's it's just all jealousy some good news is going to be coming in if some of you have met someone that makes you feel as if your world changes when you're around this person makes you feel as if life is about to start anew for you yes but the message that you're going to be receiving um be careful because um is a message from a younger person and this person just wants to get in in the in the sack okay it, it, it's a someone who makes you feel really good about yourself and but this person the energy of it's just all about the sex someone is in a relationship or started a relationship and realized that the relationship with this um, king of cups is so uh, very controlling it's a very good relationship and it's a very right, nice relationship but it's a very controlling relationship and you're realizing for yourself now that this person has so much control on you and you're going to decide whether or not you want to you know move this relationship further or you're going to just keep in this relationship at bay because you're realizing that there is too much control this person have too much control over you i'm seeing a lot of planning especially with people with kids you know you're you're you have met someone and you realize that this person is you know really cares about you and you know do a lot with your kids and that is so nice because you're really 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 realizing that there are really some nice people in this world and whoever is coming in is it's, it's very it's coming from a good place his heart or her heart is clean now some of you are going to be receiving a message from a Pisces cancer or a scorpion and this is someone who you have always wished to be in a relationship with and uh, you know whatever is happening there was no communication there was no interest um that is showing up but this person holds you in such a positive place in their life that you're not even aware of this and it's as if uh, expecting the first week to receive message from this person letting you know how much you meant to them okay and this is going to make you feel so good because you have been wishing and hoping to hear this message and it's definitely going to be coming in and especially for you beautiful queens you know if you find yourself a beautiful queen it's gonna happen but the energy of the devil is here so some of you men are going to be finding out that um, your partner is um, there is someone else that has um, their eyes on your partner in the first week you're going to be realizing this and that is going to be making you change a sort of an energy vibration or but definitely um, some of you who are in control relationship you're going to be seeing that but yet, yet still you're going to be thinking you know yeah but this person is really there for me and and this person has protect me in so many ways and you're just gonna let it go and hope that this control issue and I think the person is controlling because they don't want to lose you so that is the reason why they're so controlling okay some of you are having um, a long-distance relationship but this is not going to last okay um, it's going to be short-term so if you have met someone or you're going to be meeting someone it's a long distance relationship because they're going to be choosing for their kids so let's see with this long distance relationship some of you are married and having a long distance relationship and it's really really hard and you're married to a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person but it's as if this person is always traveling it's business and there's a lot of gossip that is going on um, this person could be you know discussing your marriage with others and, and and you're not aware of this but it's hard because sometimes you miss this person so much and you want to be with this person and you're trying to find inner strength to, 
to deal with this situation true love what is here for true love there some of you have met and is about to meet someone okay some of you have met or is about to meet a true love and this person is really a true love it's no questions no questions ask no questions the love is real it is it's, it's no no you know BS it is the love is real so be hoping because um, you could have met this person in a past life and they have done some real dumb stupid things or they have done and they're coming back in this lifetime and saying hey I want to redo it and I want to do it good this time so give them the chance give them the chance short-term relationship some of you are going to be having some short-term relationship with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn 45 years and older um, some of you are going to be sorry that you opened up your heart to them um, but because they have become conflicts because it could be that you and this person have known each other for a long time and you have opened up to this person in such a way because uh, you I think some of you are still in love with this person it could be an ex-girlfriend an ex-wife an ex-lover you your heart is still open for this person you have not closed your heart to this person but there are so many conflicts that is going on around this person at this time and you love this person so much um, whatever the relationship was it wasn't short-lived you were married to this person or the relationship wasn't short wasn't long-term but it's as if this person has your heart and you can't close your heart off to this person and I think the person is feeling the same thing and you you might communicate with this person um, some of you the person might be living away from you and you're missing this person you're communicating with this person you're opening up your heart to this person and telling this person how much you care and you still care about them and you will never stop caring about them and this is going to be good because um, it's as if it's the healing something some of you are definitely connecting with the Taurus Virgo or Capricorn um, 45 years and older and new love is definitely coming in with these people new love the center of the second week is people meeting these um, Taurus Virgo or Capricorn people or um, new love is going to be coming in some of you are married and you're going to be meeting someone and you're going to be opening up your heart because i'm i gave the energy of this year is that a lot of people who are married are going to be meeting someone and whoever you're meeting is as if you realize that this is the love of your life okay it's the love of your life not your twin flame not your uh soulmate but it's the love of your life okay there are differences and a lot of people are not aware of these differences but i'm seeing new relationships um are going to be starting in the, the second week for some of you it could be in the second week for some of you it could be somewhere else in the month so check out the moon readings to see where your love is going to lie and where you're going to be meeting that next person that is coming in your life okay so let's see what's happening for you young ladies between the ages of 30 and 45 um, some of you are dating a lot because you're looking for someone to start having kids it's as if your biological clock is ticking and it's time for you to meet that person so some of you young lady are playing the casino for there's a lot of people you're seeing at one time a lot of people um, but um, some of you are going to be um, meeting an older Aries Leo or Sagittarius person and you are going to um, realize that this person cares about you. you have a strong foundation so this could be an older man and um, you're meeting this older man but you are seeing a lot of people be careful because he's gonna find out latest 45 years and older it's all about the kids okay it's all about the kids some of you if you have a kid that is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion you're very worried about this kid okay 
um, there's an offer that is going to be coming in or some of you could be offering someone um, a new relationship okay definitely some of you are just um, taking the time off um, some of you really wants to start a family but you have no partner and it's time to call in your partner some of you who are dating is going to decide to leave the dating scene it's as if I've seen enough I you know this is not working out for me definitely so you're going to decide to depart the dating scene because it's not working out for you and you're like yeah there's nothing here what you can do is you know burn three pink candles and ask your angels and guides to bring in your soulmates okay because this is if some of you have been on the deep dating scene for quite some times and it's as if it's not bringing what you want so you're about to leave so definitely people who are dating other people you're going to either end the relationship leave but you're going to be definitely leaving the dating scene it's as if okay i have seen enough i there must be another way let, let let's call upon the universe and always call upon venus the planet of love and mother mary too and um saint christina um the angels of bringing the soulmates together okay and if you can't remember the name just call upon the angels of bringing the soulmates together now some of you were in a relationship with or dating someone and you realize that this person was seeing a lot of people and you handed bam some of you are having um or leaving uh, the dating scene and then directly you're going to be meeting someone and that person you're going to be having a long standing relationship with that person it's as if some some of you just decide hey um, i have enough and you went to the supermarket and you run in an old friend and there was another friend and then the connection with that friend begins so it's going to be that sort of a thing definitely women um 45 years and older you're gonna be receiving an offer a love offer but you're going to be like now um, you know the kids is the most important thing for me some of you are going to be getting involved with a young person realize that this person is a little bit too giddy yet and uh, it's not yet ready for a relationship and you're going to decide no that's not where I want to be in my life so this is definitely uh, happening because this young person want kids and you have already had kids and you're thinking no i am in the process of building my career okay so that's what is definitely going to be happening so let's see the last week was is coming up a lot of gossip i'm seeing a lot of people texting and gossiping and that sort of a thing release yourself from these gossip and these people i find it so sad there's a lot of gossip that is making you feel burdensome it's as if you're finding out what people are saying but this gossip is definitely coming to an end i'm seeing a lot of you are going to be reconnecting with others okay so yes the gossips are going to come to an end um and you are going to be um you know leaving a situation behind because definitely some of you are going to be finding out that your girlfriends were gossiping about you um somehow text message is going to be sent to you about oh about you because they did like a group chat and forget to take you out and you're going to be receiving the message and finding out all that they have been saying about you and you're going to be like you know what whatever losers you know that's why you guys will never have anyone in your life so you're going to be dealing with that in a very very positive way then we have fun time and this is just so beautiful this fun time has to do with someone that is in power this person you're going to be meeting someone who is in power and you both are going to be connecting together this is going to be um, someone between the age of 18 and 45 okay 
so you're going to be definitely having some fun time with this person some of you this could be a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn between the ages of 18 and 45 but you're definitely going to be having some fun time with this person because I'm seeing it I'm seeing this person coming up and saying hey you know you know you're not seeing anyone I'm not seeing anyone why don't we get together and that is definitely going to be happening and I'm seeing you really enjoying yourselves this could lead to a relationship but um, for now it's going to be fun but the possibility of it leading to a, a relationship it the possibility does exist now you men you men are definitely looking for new love and you are definitely going to be receiving a start um, so you businessmen could be meeting someone at work or someone through work and uh, you're gonna be just falling in love with this person and definitely it's it's it's, it's gonna be a yes um, you know go ahead with this relationship but this definitely um, it could be someone out of your your marriage that you met and fell in love with so a lot of married people are definitely connecting with this energy but definitely new love is coming in for you businessmen you young entrepreneur love is coming in for you and this love that is coming in for you is really positive um, love that is definitely coming in for you communications let's see what's the communications that is happening um, for you guys because it's the central of your reading so with communications I'm seeing a lot of you are going to be communicating situations in your life and uh, again you have the energy of uh, the Knight of Pentacles so whatever is happening with this Knight of Pentacles he is really coming up and some of you um, men are definitely going to be having a new start with love in your life and this is going to be good so the men between the ages of 18 and 45 there is definitely a new start in love if you're already in a relationship you're definitely going to be meeting someone new and this person you're going to be falling in love with so um, be careful and one relationship before you start a new some of you are going to be definitely communicating with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn they are also between the ages of 18 and 45 and whoever this person is they're going to be communicating with you but then with the communication you're going to be finding out something and that is going to put you on a thinking you know whether you know what what is what do you want you know it's gonna be like what is it you want you know get to the point that you want to give up because I'm not understanding where you're coming from so whatever this communication is that is coming up there's a lot of communication with a young person and you young people could be communicating with the Taurus Virgo or Capricorn but there, there's definitely communication that is coming up a lot of communication is as if you're clearing out some sort of a karmatic situation that you have been going through okay so there's not really hot passionate love that is going on but definitely it's as if um, you guys are clearing up some um, communication and uh, cycles that has been going on I want to say um, please like share these love readings they're all free um, uh, share 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 and subscribe um, love is the only thing that is real I will speak to you later